So, can you all hear me? Awesome sauce. So, Ignite Karaoke, what is it? Ignite Karaoke is just like the regular Ignite with one major difference. You don't know what slides are going to come up. And in fact, I wrote code, so I don't know what slides are going to come up. I'll give a quick demonstration, you know, talk for a few minutes. But while I'm speaking, if you would, please come on up, uh, those who would like to. And we're going to do this a little bit differently. We don't have a lot of time today. So we're going to do Ignite Karaoke Light, the WWE edition. So people can actually come up, do a slide or two, and when they think that they're done, tap the next person. And then they get to take over. Hopefully there's enough people that um, I don't get tapped for like the last half. But seriously, it's a lot of fun. You don't necessarily have to talk about what's on the slides. If you want to, great. But don't feel like you have to. And I actually am going to need the mic. OK, cool. So if you'll just hand it to whoever comes up first. All right. So like I said, I wrote code. I'm going to prime this. And I'm going to give us 50 slides. All right, and here we go. I press the magic button. It gives us a five second countdown before the first slide comes up. Like I said, I have no idea what's happening. Fail first and change things. This is an awesome way to start. You know what? Me standing up here with no idea whatsoever what's going to be on the slides, there's a good chance I'm going to fail. You know? But you know what? I gave a um, couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Lubrication often, part of it is us speakers talking is a very dry thing. So we need to be able to have ourselves lubricated. And then, you know, on, tools work a lot better when they're lubricated. Keep them up, do what you need to do to maintain your tools, and so forth. And they'll be happy and make your life so much easier. You want to come yet? Not yet? OK. All right, so bamboo. Bamboo, some places, it's a tool for HR. It kind of is, yeah. But you know what? Bamboo grows fast, and it changes, and it is used for a lot of infrastructure. Children also grow fast, and when you need to have a conversation with your child about DevOps, the first one is always very difficult. You're never <laughs> sure if they're old enough to learn about <laughs> DevOps. It doesn't matter whether they're the size of a baby elephant. You're going to have to get your hands dirty in this conversation. <laughs> You're going to have to explain to them merge conflicts. You're going to have to explain to them working with others. All the things that they are eventually going to learn in kindergarten, you need to apply that to DevOps. Also, you have to be mindful that, and, and teach your kids that in DevOps, you will find very unique personalities everywhere <laughs> you turn. You will see things that may not fit your normal perception of like what you would expect an organization or people to work with. You also have to be mindful that just because you can do something doesn't mean you should build it. <laughs> be extremely mindful about what you put in your hands and in the hands of your users and your developers. Um, last one slide and I'll hand off. Um, and the last thing is you've got to teach your kids that there are going to be expectations when they start to do DevOps themselves. And they have to be mindful of how they communicate up to the people who are asking for things Sorry. when it comes to DevOps. Yeah, come on. Uh, is, is this a metaphor that I'm not getting that I can vamp off of? Because I'm not getting it. Like, it seems like these all are tangential to some part of DevOps. I'm not getting it. Uh, it's, it's the bus. Get on the bus with the train. It's the bus. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're getting run over by the bus. Okay, no, there's there's someone living by the bus. This is this is Black Sheep with uh, Dick Savage, who was not Gary Busey. Yes, Gary Bu Busey. Okay. Yes, exactly. Um, I'm just going for 90s nostalgia because uh, yeah. Um, there we go. Are, are, I am not. I am uh, <laughs> terrified. This is yeah. 
uh, but this is, you know, uh, uh, especially as a DevOps engineer, just getting it from all the different angles, it's, it is good. We do like when you appreciate all the things that we have to do now because you always butter us up when we uh, are actually doing something for you. And then when we actually get it, you know, it would be nice to get a little bit of uh, appreciation on the back end. So uh, if you're showing that they are happy now after we are bending to gone, uh, is this taken outside? Ha uh, uh, happy trees. Uh, this this wood is yellowish, so I will go Robert Frost in this. And there's a there there are, there is a road uh, diver diverging. So uh, <laughs> a, cu a couple of poets in there. Yeah. So good. Um, cosplay is important, and <laughs> uh, it's a Mandelbrot set. It's a what? Mandelbrot set. Fractals. Uh, yes, it is. Which is uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 so there's a sigma and. Um, this is, uh, if you can't bite your own tail, uh, bite someone else's. <laughs> so, also, and now I'm going to hand it off to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hello, 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 hello. Hi. So this is me feeling like this has scared me looking at all the DevOps, everything people doing. Um, there is about like 2,000 different uh, tools and frameworks being created every minute. And me looking at, oh my god, which one do I use? And like everybody claiming their tool is this. The fastest, <laughs> the best, you get on it, you're going 400 miles an hour, you're faster than everybody else, you're seeing everything like crystal clear. Like that movie, like the, your best favorite movie star, you are be becoming this by using their tool. Some claiming you're gonna become an airplane. You're gonna fly through the entire world. And like airplane carrying the load of a cargo ship. Like that's what they're claiming. And like, again, we all know, this is the reality. <laughs> you're sitting there. <laughs> Everything is on fire. Like, you were saying, you know what? What I have is fine. I'm on fire. I'm OK. Because, again, we all die. So I mean, it's OK. So this is actual DevOps people like, like running through water, getting, getting scraps, just making it work. Making your 90s monolith still work in 2019. <laughs> And you were just like running through the water with a stick in your mouth. But again, this is the state of your application. It's dying, it's decaying. <laughs> but DevOps is the glue and duct tape that's holding it all together. Well, Oops. again, you saw error pages before. And this is, the, <laughs> this is not even actually a picture. It's like I have nothing else to say, so that I got an error slide. And that was my time. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone else? Come on, it's fun. Jump in the pool. Come on. Come on. Yay. All right. Ready? No. <laughs> well, right. in. There's a lot less people here than I thought. Where'd everybody five. go? Four, three, two, one. There you go. Uh, that's about how you should feel at the end of the day, every <laughs> single day. Um, I, don't ordinarily, I don't ordinarily test my infrastructure, but when I do, I do it in production. And I think a lot of us probably live in that space. And what we need to do is we need to start moving it back, telling people this will be the face they see if they don't start moving to dev. Because <laughs> if you're not in dev testing, that guy's going to be on your doorstep. <laughs> So, uh, that, that, I don't even know that language, so, <laughs> yeah, but um, alternatively, if, uh, if we're doing our jobs right, we're all going to be able to build this uh, amazing, beautiful little ship in dev, and then we can put it in a jar and put it in prod, and no one will ever touch it, because <laughs> all of our automation tools do everything. Um, it's, it's how we actually climb the hills of day-to-day -day technology, so uh, everything's beautiful when you're in nature. And uh, your automation tools are that road that are going to take you up the route. Um, alternatively, though, you can't always be headed in the forest. Sometimes you're just a dude with a sweater. And you're out there coding <laughs> the best you can. I mean, not all of us are Unix engineers with vests on. But you know, whatever. <laughs> we wear our sweaters. We do the best we can. Um, but a lot of the times, you're going to find yourself lost in a giant city of amazing tool sets and opportunities and have nowhere to eat a sandwich. <laughs> so, you'll eat it at your desk, you'll be miserable, you'll put in those long hours, probably not see your family, 
but you're doing it for that, which doesn't exist. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's like, I guess it's love. It's not even money, but uh, do we really love it? So uh, we're enticed by money, but at the same point, it's on fire just like your environment. So uh, at the end of the day, though, you got to realize it's about the unicorns, and that's what's going to make your job hell. So <laughs> never, ever, ever sign up for the unicorn task and give that to the FNG. And I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> See no evil. Speak uh, no evil. Yeah, sure. There's lots of evil. Just put it on someone else's back. So, um, do your best you can, and maybe you're going to be sitting in a beautiful spot and making little eggs with all your friends and failing together. So that's all I got. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay, I'll jump in. You got to have good tools. And sometimes the best tools are the simple tools. Just because it's old, just because people have been using it for a long time, doesn't mean that it doesn't work. Now, you want to automate, and it's kind of hard to automate a pencil. But you know what? A lot of people in DevOps give ITIL a bad name. De ITIL is actually not that bad. You know, they say, you want to have change control. Well, we have source code repositories. You can actually be doing ITIL, ITIL and it's Agile. And that red dot, my cats have actually figured out some of them, that I'm doing it. And they see me pick up the mouse, and they're like, oh, yes, we get to play now. And as soon as I do, they go, watching the light going off into the universe. Yeah. So I have right now, we're down to four feline overlords. They pretty much control our life. But you know, that's good. That's good. Because cats, they force you to have schedules. Now, this is kind of what it looks like for some of our schedules for code releases and for our velocity reports, especially as we're doing initially starting a project. But, you know, we all want to go out into space, have a very successful liftoff and a product launch. Yeah, how many times do we actually get to have a product launch on time? Well, roughly within budget, but, you know, in order to do that, you have to be balanced. <laughs> you know, you, you got to be able to juggle things. Look at the world in a different perspective from what you normally would. I oh. wanted to be tapped out, so I'll All just right. hear when you're ready. Oh, right. okay. Here, go. All right. You ever say to your mom what you do at work? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much how you're going to feel at the start of that conversation. I told my mom that one time, and uh, we ended up having... <laughs> she looked at me glass-eyed. She's like, I don't understand anything that you just said. <laughs> what I really need to understand is, why is my iCloud full? I don't get it. I was like, well, mom, you just have to pay. She's like, but it's the cloud. Why do I have to pay for anything? <laughs> then I followed up with, mom, you do realize that in the cloud, it's a shared system, right? All of your photos, all of your information, it's sitting beside other people's information. So you might want to be really mindful about what you're sharing, particularly on something like Facebook. And that's the last slide. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that's, that's how I am. <laughs> I was hoping for something to save me. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, everybody who participated. Now, you as an audience also participated. Hopefully, next time you'll join in and participate up here. Thank you much. <laughs>